probably a little bit frustrated that we we um, didn't get a chance to finish finish them off. Um, but yes, I mean the light has been gloomy all day, and um, you know we've done well to get the playing that we we have. So I thought we you know we did well throughout the day. We stayed patient. Um, you know we tried to get the ball in the the areas that we wanted that touch fuller. Try and get the nicks and pitch seemed to. It seems a bit too paced. It seems flat for a bit, and then the odd one will go go through or just nip sideways. So, um, you know, I think we're pretty pleased with the, where where we're at. Obviously, we'd have loved some more play in today, but wasn't to be. Did it feel any sense that it was unsafe out there for anyone, batsmen, fielders, umpires? Um, I mean, it did, it did feel like the lights were were pretty prominent, um, but you know, it's not it's something that. The umpires with their light meters, they they just take the readings, and then obviously it was a lot lower um, this evening than it was when we came off yesterday. I think so. Um, we can only go off their readings and, and stuff like that, so um, not a lot we could do about that. And just on a personal level, Jimmy, everything's come out nicely so far for you. Do you feel like you sort of made those little improvements across the board that you were looking for after last week? Yeah, definitely. I- I felt a lot better this week. Um, I think, you know, both mentally and and um, with the ball. Um, I had some good chats with some of the, the players this week um, and did some really good work on my, my technique as well. So I came in with a bit more confidence and obviously the wickets help. Um, and I think just remembering that, um, what you know, why we play this game it is enjoyable when uh, you get it right. So I try, just trying to have bit more of a smile on my face and enjoying being out there with the lads. Okay, John Etheridge, please. Uh, Jimmy, hi. Um, Stuart's um, taken three wickets or more in innings, in seven consecutive innings now. He's have a, having a fab of the summer, isn't he? He is, yeah. Yeah, definitely. He's. Um, I mean, it's not just a, a hit the summer. I think it's... Um, it, it goes further back than that. He's, he's had a fantastic few years. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there's no reason why he can't can't carry on like this. He's, he's bowling fantastically well, full of confidence. You can see there's a, a spring in his step when he's walking around the ground. Um, and, obviously, he's, I mean, his, his fitness levels have, have looked fantastic because he's getting through the overs as well. He's not just sort of picking up th- three or four wickets and... Uh, in quick time, he's he's putting in the hard yards into to be able to put the pressure on and, and um, you know get going deep in their innings and, and sticking around to take the wickets. Who's next, please? Done. Done. <laughs> Just check. Oh, Dean, go ahead, Dean. Sorry. Um, yeah, James, you, you talked a little bit about enjoying um, being out there. W- when the conditions are, are the way they are at the moment and the ball is, is swinging and, and everything going exactly how it's supposed to, um, is that part of the enthusiasm that you get from the game and, and actually kind of keeps the motivation levels up to consistently do what you do? Um to be honest, I'm, it's not swung a great deal. It's not. It's not hoops like we we actually you know being out there. Um, certainly yesterday when it was quite muggy, um, we we expected it to actually swing more than it did, and I think it was more sea movement that we got got out of the pitch, um, which has helped us. Um, but I think to be honest, the, the, what I enjoy about bowling is is putting in a shift and you know doing the the hard yards on a good wicket, trying to out fox the batsman and. Um, yeah, go about things that way. I think you get more out of a, a day on a flat pitch having put a, a good shift in. Um, that, that's what I enjoy, you know, um, really having to work hard to, to work a batsman over and, and get rewards for it. And from your point of view, one, one of the things with the bowling attack that has been a topic of conversation for probably the last six months to a year is about the ashes and, and the kind of bowling attack that England are looking to develop for that job. Clearly, what you need in England is different to what you need in Australia. Has it been a relief or not a relief, but has it been reassuring to see um, a bowling attack pick to do a job here uh, in the conditions that you've got? 
Um, yeah, I think that that should be the case wherever you're ready. I, I think the you should pick a bowling attack to win the game of cricket on that particular surface. Um, and I think, yeah, going to Australia, yeah, you, you do maybe need something different. But to be honest, um, you know, I, I don't think you, you go, you know, a, a, a good ball is a good ball on any on any wicket. Um, you know, you still get bounce, you still get sea movement in Australia. It's not like we're going um, somewhere completely alien to, to English conditions. Um but maybe you have to go about it a little bit differently. But I think it's uh, the, the one thing that this summer has shown to us uh, is that we've got a, a, a really good depth in our bowling group in particular. Um, and I think that's something that, you know, over the next 12 months, 18 months, we can keep developing and everyone can keep improving um, so that we've got the ability to to beat anyone anywhere. And I think that's what you, you have to have. That You need strength and depth because there will be injuries. There will be people out of form. Um, so on any given day, you need uh, an attack that can win win games. Thank you. OK, we'll finish with Lizzie and then Saeed, please. Hi, Jimmy. Um, obviously, with all the, all the work that's gone into getting this series on and the previous series on, it's quite frustrating to, to have um, all these disruptions for, for bad light. It, have you any thoughts on, on what might be done about it? Or is it just one of those things? I know the pink ball has been suggested, although that's probably not a flyer. Is there anything you think that can be done to, to minimise the disruptions? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure to be honest. I, I think, um, you know, as I say, it's gloomy out there, but it's, it's one of those where the, um, you know, it didn't seem, sometimes it doesn't seem like the batsmen are struggling with it too much. So whether they change the, the, you know, where, I don't know what the reading is on the light meter to, to come off. Um, but maybe it's, uh, it could be a, you know, a bit more leeway there potentially. Um, but I, I don't see that. I don't think we can change the colour of the ball when uh, it gets a bit dark. I don't think that's a, a goer really. Um, to be honest, well, I think we we feel like we've the, the rain's followed us around a bit. Obviously, Old Trafford we got disrupted a little bit and some bad light there. And it seems like this week it keeps following us around. So um, it's just one of those things we've got to try and um, now we've got three days left to try and force a result out of this game. Thanks. And then Say to finish off, please. Hi, hi, Jimmy. Uh, my question is regarding the pitch behavior. Uh, today we have seen that uh, ball was not moving so much like yesterday. So what do you think next is will pitch will be changed more and it will be easier for the England batsmen when the Pakistani bowlers, they will come to ball? Oh, well, I hope so. Um, I think, you know, speaking to the groundsmen, they think um, day two and three would be best to bat on this pitch. So... Um, Obviously, we've we've had what eighty overs, which isn't isn't even a, d a full day's play on the pitch yet. So, I imagine it will get better uh, over the next few days. Um, you know, we'll we'll certainly hope so. We've, there's been a bit of sea movement today, like you say, not as much as yesterday, but still enough encouragement for the bowlers there. Um, and we know we're going to have to bat really well to to get past them and try and get a lead, lead in this first innings. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a good evening. Cheers. Bye.